Welcome to another video for our cat pet tips and ideas. These are videos which can give you some extra ideas of how you can get all the marks you can for your cat pet. Now, in our previous video, we looked at some formulas in Excel. Now we're doing the last part, which is the chart examples that we want to try to do for our Excel component of the pet. This is for your phase two. Now, in the 2022 rubric, this is obviously things might change, but the spreadsheet component, they want the graphs or charts, and they, they say yeah, at least two graphs. So it must at least be one relevant, meaningful graph. So the meaningful and relevant are very key here that contribute towards the solution. They can't just be random charts. They must actually add value or give you information that you didn't know beforehand. And then a second relevant and meaningful chart and then appropriate types of graphs for both them use and the graphs are easy to read and interpret and that's by using labels and titles and legends and stuff like that now this is my little tip to you straight away in phase three you are going to have to have three findings that you need to talk about now we go where do we get these findings from now majority of them are going to probably come from your spreadsheet we probably can get something from our uh, access uh, database when we in the next part of this phase too um, but a lot of your information is going to come from your spreadsheet so I would recommend having at least three graphs so that you've got lots of things that you can talk about if you need to okay and remember in our one video we showed you how to get external data you can also do charts on that external data as well so all of these charts are obviously very dependent on how well you did your formulas beforehand because that will determine if the information is relevant or meaningful. I can't tell you that. You are the only one that can determine that based on the data that you've got and the questions that you asked in your survey. So here we've got our spreadsheet from our previous uh, videos and yeah, I've got a whole bunch of formulas that I use where you can find the min, the max, the average. I can talk about that in your findings. That's more talk about stuff. Um, you can do a chart to find out what percentage people said yes and no of your data. So that could be something. It obviously depends on if question one is a good is a question that you want to ask. So you could select that data and that would be a good example of using, for example, a pie chart so that you can see what percentage everyone says. So we can go and insert a nice little pie chart. So there's our pie chart over there. It's up to you how you want it to look. So you can select it. So there you can see straight away. And then you can go change the title to be what this question is about. And say question one. And whatever question one was about. There's already a legend. And then when you've got your chart, you can have all these options where you can add elements. Like you can add values if you want you want to add data labels so we can see what that means yes i actually do want data labels i want more options i actually want to see what percentage that represents so things like that will be very useful to make your chart readable so i don't mind what the value is but i would really like to know what the percentage is that makes more sense and you can say where it must be if it must be on the if it must be in the best fit or if it must be outside or outside end, outside end, inside end, those type of things, or in the center, it's up to you. I normally like it like that, but that's my preference. And then if you want to change colors and stuff like that, you can always click on the chart, on the data file, on the data there, and then click on it one more time to get to that particular data. So if I just, there we go. If I click on, I just want this data, and then you can format that data point to be a particular uh, value or whatever like that. So you can play around with that. And then remember we made this, like whole t worksheet for our chart so it's actually a good idea when we click on our chart and we go look at our options here we must move the chart we can move it um as if we move it to a new sheet it's actually gonna it's actually gonna create a brand new sheet with just that chart that's not actually what i want so i can actually just go and i can cut this particular chart okay i don't want it there and then go to my charts and then just paste it over here boom paste it and there we go so there's my chart so it's still working still there and then you can have all your charts over here to have your little summaries and data and so on so that's an example of something that you could do now obviously that depends on your data um there's a really nice one you can say how many people said red yellow and blue you could use that for a bar chart now i want to particular so charts are quite easy so the key here is make sure that you've got relevant information and when you do the chart move it to the chart uh worksheet make sure you got a nice little title make sure you got your legend showing make sure you got data labels showing that type of thing if you need to change colors you can 
Now, this is the part that I want to just talk to you about with regard to the values and stuff like that. So when information is meaningful. So I'm going to use an example here. Let's take this particular scenario here where we've got, I'm going to make this a bit bigger so we can see the different cities by the yes and the no. So let's, let's just take this and make a bar chart. So we're going to insert a bar or column chart. Sorry, column chart. Let's do column chart. Boom. So we can do column chart. So we can see each city individually and how many people said yes and how many people said no and that type of thing. And you can obviously switch the row and route. So you can look. So this is all the yeses for um, the different cities and that's all the no's. So you can do that type of thing. So, so if we look at this particular chart, okay, do you see that we can see that the number of people that said no in Cape Town is quite close to the number of people that said yes um, in Abeja and so on. So you get an idea of what the values mean. So you can see this is significantly higher and it goes there. But the problem is with this type of chart is that it's, it, it doesn't give as accurate information. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste it in my charts. I'm going to compare the two charts that I'm going to make now. Okay, so when we're dealing, so that's number of, that's, so Rebecca, five people said yes. But that's five people out of, how many people said yes in total? 14. So do you see, that's a very different, that's less than half. Where in East London, for example, let's say that four people, yeah, said no in Cape Town. Now that's slightly less than they said yes, but that's four out of six. So that's more than half, that's, that's, Almost 60% of the people said no in Cape Town. Do you see how that those values give us a lot different information based on what the that value is in comparison to how many people said yes? So sometimes it's a good idea not to just use the straight up values, but we've got the yes and no, but to work out the percentages of that. So that equals to a 5 divided by how many there are in total for the yeses, and there are 14 of them. And I'm going to put dollar signs around that because I'm going to copy this formula down and I want to work out for each of them. But obviously, I want to always refer to that particular block. So that's actually the percentage. Not 35% of Klebechas, of the yeses were in Klebecha and so on. So that gives us a very different picture. So there we go. I've left it like that. You can make them into percentages if you want. That type of thing. And then over here, obviously, that we would move this up and get it out the way. And you would make it obviously look nice as well as part of your information. So for the no's, that would be equal to the, the number of no's that we counted divided by how many no's there are in total, which is that block. And I'm going to put a dollar sign around that one because when I copy it down, I want to refer to all of these, but keep that one locked. So there we go. So I can work out the percentages over here. So let's work out percentages and there we go so now we've got a little bit of the values there and then you can say obviously this is yes percent and this is no percent okay so let's try to do these as a chart so that's obviously that data and that data and that data okay or actually let's now to do that and do that and just see what it looks like when we go insert this chart let's go have a look at the exact same bar chart and let's go have a look. Boom. Okay, so we want the data a little bit differently to that. So I don't like that chart. I'm going to actually undo that. No, I don't want to do that. Let's, let's just do this data straight up. And we can add that as the series later on. So let's go insert. Bar chart. Boom. So there's my chart. Obviously, I would give it a title on that. But obviously, I don't like this one, two, three. I just use that data. I want to... So I'm going to right click on the chart and select the data and I'm going to edit these numbers. I'm going to say edit it. I want it to be that range, please. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. It's actually done the little ones at the bottom. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. And so let's go and compare this chart. Let's cut it and paste it in the charts here. And we're going to paste it over here. Boom. Okay, so there we go. So now it's exactly the same chart. Now it gives us a lot different information. Are you seeing the values are slightly different? You see that this is significantly higher in proportion to all the no's in total. By working out the percentages of what, how many no's are in relation to all the no's, you get a much better perspective of what that, how high that actually is, how significant that is. And how, in, how that is not as big as you thought it was in comparison to 
to the number of no's. So those are the types of things that you can be just be aware of when you are doing your charts that sometimes the values are, especially in the count if section, isn't as useful as if the percentages of that value divided by how many there are in total. So if I was going to do that, for example, over here, um, I would, for this, obviously this is question one, so that's easy. But if I was doing a question four and question uh, uh, two, then make sure that you count how many no's, maybes, and that are in total, and then work out the the relation between uh, that twos divided by how many yeses there were, there were in total for that question, and how many no, that's one no divided by how many no's there were in total. So there we go. So look, reflect on that. So it's the number divided by how many there are in total. So five out of 14 said yes, which is actually 36, where here four out of six said yes, which is a significant bigger percentage. So those are the types of things you must be aware about with your charts. So take that as uh, some advice that you can use for when you go do your charts. Remember to give your charts nice little titles. Use some legends, make sure that you get the axes nice and labeled and if you need to and make sure that it all looks nice and pretty and all that for your charts because you're going to need that for your findings that you can actually talk about these charts in your findings and make sure, as I said, try to do three, not these two are the same. So I, would actually, I don't want this one anymore, but get three charts that you got information. As I said, don't forget your external data. You could do a chart maybe on something like that, for example, if you wanted to. So go do your charts. Go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, share our videos with your friends. Maybe we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.